Latest from Busia. Michelle, we've uh, shifted from uh, uh, Busia Youth Polytechnic, that is in Matthias constituency, crossed the road to Busia Township Primary, that is in Teso South constituency. Now, Teso South, this and this particular polling center is where the governor, Sospita Odeke Ojamongsan, will be casting his uh, ballot any minute from now, uh, his communication team is already on the ground. They indicated at 8 he'll be coming. Now there are two polling uh, stations uh, where we are here at this particular polling center. Now on my right is uh, polling station number 1 and on my left is polling station number 2. This is where the governor will be voting on my left. Now just to give you some uh, quick statistics on what we are working with, Busia County with at, uh, as a close of uh, the second phase or with the latest IBC figures, Busia County has 351,048 registered voters. This Teso South has the highest number of registered voters of the seven constituencies. It has the highest. Therefore, we are talking of uh, uh, 61,000 registered voters, followed by Butler, which has 59,000. Then the third constituency with the highest number is Matayos and has 56. The rest are in 40s. Budalangi constituency has the lowest number of registered voters at 38,000. In terms of uh, candidates, we are having 10 uh, candidates that are seeking the women representative uh, seat. With the governor position, we have seven of them. But of course, many are looking at uh, the big two, that is Hospital Jamong and Polo Toma, who is vying as an independent or Jamong on ODM. Those are the key uh, uh, contenders for the governorship uh, a position now apart from that particular contest the other one that has attracted maybe a tight uh, contest will be member of parliament and we are looking at Butula and Nambale where they have nine each and uh, when you look at the voting patterns of uh, 2013, uh, they voted, it was a mixture in terms of how they voted in as much as Raila Odinga got the highest number. So for now, we'll be keeping tabs just uh, any moment when the governor comes here, we will be giving you that particular aspect. But I think for now, Michelle, I will have uh, to hand over to you, but uh, join us shortly when the governor arrives to vote. Paul Otoma will be voting at 10. Will do, yes, will uh, do. Michelle, that is uh, Duncan Haimba joining us live from uh, Busia. Many thanks, Haimba. It is uh, an election many Kenyans are anxious about. Incumbent uh, President Uhuru Kenyatta's son of uh, Kenya's first president, Jomo Kenyatta, is uh, neck and neck with Raila Odinga, whose father, Joramogi Oginga Odinga, was the vice president of Mze Jomo Kenyatta. So it is an interesting battle. Uh, we are following up here, right? on Kivumbi 2017. But for now, let me hand you over to my co-anchor, Michael Gitonga, with reviews on this very high-stake election. Thank you very much, Michelle.